my name is Anna Crippen-Staple and I work on the Woodlands Restoration Crew for the Olmsted Parks Conservancy. And today we're going to talk about winter creeper. This problem plant invades our woodlands and climbs on our trees and you might have it on your own property. Today we're going to talk about what it is, why we get rid of it, and how you can do just the same thing. As you can see, this plant is a very aggressive ground cover. It'll climb our trees and anything else it can get a hold of, like this fence behind me. The leaves of winter creeper are dark green and very tough and waxy, and they'll stay green all year, even in the winter. So once your trees have dropped their leaves, this is the only thing remaining, so it's really easy to spot in the landscape. In your yard, you may have winter creeper as an ornamental ground cover because it outcompetes nearly any other plant around it. And this is exactly why we don't want it in the woodlands. It will reduce our biodiversity and it will smother native plants. As winter creeper continues as an aggressive ground cover, you'll also see that it'll climb our canopy trees. This is undesirable both in your yard and in the natural landscape. One is the direct competition, they're going to stress our trees out. But two is that once this species starts to climb, that's when it's able to flower and set fruit and bear seed that will then spread to the surrounding area. Depending on the age of the vine, winter creeper might be green and small like this one, or as it gets older it might start to turn woody, or it could even be larger and hairy like these vines here. But no matter the size or the age of the vine, we can sever these close to the ground. No matter which cutting tool you use, it's generally a good rule of thumb to cut at the base, as close to the soil as you can, and up two or three feet. I'm not going to pull these remaining vines off the tree. They'll die and dry out on their own and fall off over time. If you have a very heavy infestation, you may find that you have really large vines to sever. With these, you'd want to use something like a handsaw, but make sure that you don't cut into the tissue of the tree behind it. With your larger vines, make sure you've severed them completely, and if you use an herbicide, fully treat the lower face. So now we've severed those vines, and that hackberry has a new lease on life. So today you've learned what winter creeper is, why we don't want it to spread in the woodlands or to climb our canopy trees, and how you can remove it in your own backyard. To get involved, or if you have any more questions, please visit olmsteadparks.org.